What's up, y'all? Today I got myself a new food item from a new-to-me restaurant. It's some kind of pizza slash fried chicken place here in Korea. It's a little bit of a chain, I guess. I've never heard of it before until today when I saw this menu item and I'm like, I gotta try that. They're calling this thing the secret double crunch. Let me show you what I'm working with. I haven't seen this in person. Just uh, freshly delivered, so we'll see. But here's a picture of what it's supposed to look like. Here's the delivery app that I use. And as you can see, it's a, it's a monstrosity. It's $21. It has supposedly some kind of rosé sauce. It has some pulled pork and it also has five different types of cheeses. And it's like surrounded, I doubled up on some kind of crispy, crunchy crust. And here we have it. Here's the box. Looks like uh, it's got a K-pop idol on it. They only have one size option for it, by the way. This is the large. It's a slightly better look at the box there. And, uh, and yeah, here we go. The secret double crunch. Looking decent, man, looking decent. Let me pull this out of here. They say this is for two to three people. I'm not sure how much of it I'm gonna eat. I just really wanted to try this out. And the top, I gotta say, I wouldn't call that crunchy, but you can see kind of these little pebbles of, I believe might be some kind of burnt cheese. So that might add a little crisp to it. Um, there's eight slices in here and the outside looks like a regular kind of pizza crust. And the bottom is kind of just looking like a, eh, a little bit weak, but just, you know, a regular pizza crust. I'm kind of smelling some of the uh, the pulled pork in there, maybe a couple of different types of those cheeses. Not really getting much rosé sauce. I don't know what to think about that, to be honest. I'm kind of thinking, like, if you're going to put sauce, make it either, like, you know, tomato sauce, maybe pizza sauce, or even go extreme like a barbecue sauce, or even take off the sauce altogether. Because right now, it's kind of floating in this weird area between, like, a pizza and just a dang quesadilla. I feel like if there wasn't any sauce inside of this, it would be kind of cool, like, just a pulled pork and cheese pizza dilla type of thing but anyway um, i'm gonna go in for one slice just plain absolutely zero cheese pull and then for the next one i'm going to kind of dissect it and show you guys like what it looks like on the inside but you can kind of see there um the top layer and the bottom layer so i mean hats off for trying this concept going in Well, that's, damn it. Um, I really hope this is gonna be better than it is. Everything from the quality and the blend of flavors that they're working with is just, and the lack of any crispiness or crunchiness, it's leading to a little bit of an overall poor and disappointing experience on that first piece. I don't know if you could hear, or not, uh, but there's absolutely no crisp. And when you're, or no crunch either. And when you're calling your, here, they even threw in this little promotional flyer. They're really trying to hype this up. You can see, what are we calling this again? The secret double crunch. I mean, maybe that's a secret. It's actually not crunchy, which I would forgive if it was tasty, but it's not tasty. Hold on, I might be being a little bit too harsh. Let me show you what's on the inside of this because that might help me figure out what I'm really tasting in there. Okay, so a lot that's going on in there. You can see, you know, they're calling this a rosé sauce. It doesn't really look like the rosé color that I know. Uh, you can see some onions. You can see a little bit of the pulled pork. But yeah, like I'm saying, you know, not as much meat as you'd expect in a pulled pork secret crunch. You know what I mean? There is some pepper there. And I have a suspicion that this globular kind of white sauce right here is sweet. You all know me, there's nothing more I hate than sneaking in a sweet 
substances into things that don't have to be sweet. Like a pulled pork, okay, you know, maybe you'll get a little sweetness from the pulled pork. There you go. That's all you need. You don't have to double down and triple down with, let me taste this. I think that's some kind of cream cheese, bro. It's sweet as hell, as all hell, and that's the goddamn culprit. And that's mostly what you're seeing in there, man. Uh, I hate to be a Debbie Downer. This is one of those things that would be just kind of interesting enough that even if it was average, I could, I'd still enjoy it. Even if it was just unoffended, unoffensive. But that sweet ass cream cheese, it's not regular cream cheese, it's sweetened. It's just too much for me, man. That piece wasn't as sweet. Maybe it's because I took some out with the, with the fork over there. So, man, I, I would say if it just didn't have that element, I it would be just like average, run-of-the-mill. Nothing mind-blowing, but fine for what it is. Look, it's not that bad. Like, it's edible. I've had much worse foods in my day. But for some reason, man, I was just, I was actually looking forward to this and I thought it would be solid and crunchy and I thought they had some kind of formula going on, but, but I'm going to eat a couple more slices, probably save the rest, see if anyone else wants to try it. I would have just loved to see some options. Give me an option for just pepperoni or just cheese, you know, just like mozzarella cheese and like sauce. I think that would be amazing. I think it'd be a really cool thing to have like two different kinds of types of crust um, and stuff in the inside. I guess this is really just like a pizza dilla. This piece was slightly better. Is there some other kind of secret that I don't know about either? Like, that would be so classic if they, like, in one of the slices, they added, like, wasabi or something. As the secret. That would be, that'd be a good move, man. Hmm. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do two more pieces. I'm going to save two. And I'm going to do uh, the quadruple, the secret quadruple crunch. So four layers there. See how this eats. It, the exact same, so a little bit thicker. Oh no. Corn. Was there corn on this the whole time? I probably just leaked from another pizza, I'm guessing. I'm hoping. Yeah, I don't see any corn. Well, now I just touched these. I don't want to give these away. Whatever, I'm, I'm gonna finish this off. Another fold and eat. Do you think people eat a pizza like this?
Ah. Got the nutrition info back here. Let me see. <clears throat> What's 331.68 times 8? Two thousand six hundred and fifty three point four four calories for just down the hatch for this. Well, there's my problem. Gee. It doesn't feel like that many. And it's definitely not tasty enough to be worthy of that many. That's wild. Start it. Well, there you have it. The secret double crunch. Another classic Korean creation that's not crunchy, but crazy. <laughs> Alright. So I'm skating. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.